Hello and welcome to the Book Club on the Go, a podcast for book lovers like you. Today I will talk about the book, The Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer, one of the most famous works of medieval literature. This book is a collection of stories told by a group of pilgrims traveling from London to Canterbury to visit the shrine of St. Thomas Becket. Along the way, they decide to have a storytelling contest, with each pilgrim telling two stories on the way there and two on the way back. The host of the inn where they stay, Harry Bailey, acts as the judge and promises a free meal to the best storyteller. The book contains 24 stories, plus a prologue that introduces each pilgrim and gives us some insight into their personality and social status. The stories are very diverse in genre and style, ranging from religious legends and moral tales to romances and comedies. Some of them are original creations by Chaucer, while others are based on existing sources from various cultures and languages. The stories reflect the interests and concerns of different segments of society in late medieval England, such as religion, politics, love, marriage, gender roles, class conflicts, and entertainment. One of the most remarkable features of the Canterbury Tales is Chaucer's use of language. He wrote in Middle English, which was not a standardized language then, but a mixture of different dialects and influences from French and Latin. He also used different language levels depending on the character speaking or narrating. For example, he used more formal and elegant language for the noble characters like the knight or the prioress. In contrast, he used more colloquial and vulgar language for the lower class characters like the miller or the reeve. He also used different poetic forms for stories, such as rhyming couplets for most tales. Some of the most memorable characters include The Knight, a chivalrous and honorable warrior who has fought in many battles and crusades. The Wife of Bath, a bold and vibrant woman who has been married five times and is intensely interested in romance and sexuality. The Miller, a boisterous and vulgar man known for his crude sense of humor. The Partner, a corrupt and hypocritical church official who sells indulgences and relics for personal gain. The Reeve, a shrewd and cunning steward adept at managing finances and manipulating his employers. The Canterbury Tales is a rich and complex work that touches on various themes and ideas. However, some of the critical lessons that can be drawn from the book include the following. 1. The Importance of Storytelling Chaucer portrays storytelling as a valuable and entertaining pastime that can bring people together and provide insights into human nature. 2. The Power of Social Class Many of the tales in the book explore the relationship between social class and morality, highlighting how wealth and status can corrupt individuals and lead to moral decay. 3. The complexity of human nature. Chaucer's characters are multifaceted and often contradictory, reflecting the complexity and ambiguity of real-life human behavior. The Canterbury Tales is a landmark work of literature that has profoundly influenced the development of the English language and culture. The book is notable for its vivid and memorable characters and rich and varied storytelling. In addition, the tales in the book cover a wide range of genres and styles, making it an incredibly diverse and engaging read. The language in the book can be challenging for modern readers, as it is written in Middle English and includes many archaic words and phrases. Some of the tales in the book are highly lewd and crude, which may be off-putting to some readers. The book can be long and dense, requiring a significant investment of time and attention to appreciate fully. The Canterbury Tales is not only a masterpiece of literature, but also a valuable source of information about life in medieval England. It gives us a vivid picture of how people lived, worked, thought, felt, believed, behaved, and interacted with each other in that period. It also shows us how Chaucer was an innovative and creative writer who experimented with different genres and styles and had a keen eye for human nature and social issues. I hope you have enjoyed the summary of this book. If you want to read or learn more about this book, I recommend picking up a copy. I hope you enjoyed it and found my perspective helpful. Thank you for watching this video. Consider subscribing to my channel for more book reviews and related content.
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below with your thoughts or recommendations for future videos. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you at the next one.